Thank you and welcome to the show this morning. The topic this morning is African World Studies, and we're fortunate to have with us uh, to talk about uh, Africa and uh, the part that is played by many people dealing with uh, the study of African studies, uh, Dr. Leonard Jeffries. Uh, Dr. Leonard Jeffries, of course, is from uh, New York, and with Dr. Jeffries is uh, Dr. Anderson Thompson. And of course, Dr. Jeffries and Dr. Thompson, let me welcome both of you to uh, the show this morning. Well, Dr. Haney, we certainly are, uh, it's a pleasure to join your audience, uh, especially to deal with the important topic of African world studies. As a matter of fact, I think uh, uh, Dr. Jeffries, you and uh, Dr. Thompson are both members of the uh, board of directors of a very, very uh, important organization dealing with the uh, study of uh, Africa from a worldwide perspective. Uh, we're going to talk about that organization this morning and talk about some of the things that uh, the two of you have been involved in. But before we do that, Dr. Jeffries, let's have you and later uh, Dr. Thompson to give us some information about your background, your education, and uh, some of the things that were important in terms of leading you eventually to where you are this morning. And of course, if you'll take a few minutes in developing that, uh, Dr. Thompson will give us the same kind of information, and then we'll be able to talk about the topic this morning, uh, Africa World Studies. Well, certainly, Dr. Haney, I um, have had a chance to travel around the world, but my beginnings are very uh, like everyone else. Mm -hmm. In the urban community of Newark, New Jersey, I, I was born. Uh, my folks are from, my mother's side is Virginia, Farmville, Virginia. My father's side is uh, Kelly, Georgia, uh, south of uh, Atlanta in the Monticello area. And uh, I've been blessed to come from this uh, very humble home, but to be given a, a sense of purpose and direction in my life. And so my studies were serious, and uh, my mother and others directed me toward looking at the larger world. So I had a chance to travel. After I went to Lafayette College, um, I got a, won a Rotary International Fellowship. Mm -hmm. That allowed me to travel to Europe, study in uh, uh, Switzerland, study in, in, in uh, France. Mm -hmm. That opened up another world to me, a worldview. Mm -hmm. And shortly after that, I was able to come back and met a, a black minister who was from Tennessee, Knoxville, mm -hmm. Tennessee, the Reverend James uh, H. Robinson. And he had a program called Operation Crossroads Africa. Mm -hmm. And that gave me a chance to travel to Africa in 1961. Mm -hmm. And ever since then, I've been able to travel around the world. Uh, been over 100 trips to Africa, South America, the mm -hmm. Caribbean. Mm -hmm. And so African world studies is very real to me. I've been able to live it. I've been able to experience it. My PhD was uh, on Africa, mm -hmm. the uh, economic development of the Ivory Coast Republic, which is in the news now in Africa. Mm -hmm. My master's actually was on Africa, too, in African world studies. Uh, it was on the four-year development plan of the Republic of Senegal in mm -hmm. West Africa. So we have had a chance to not only finish the traditional studies in America, mm -hmm. but to expand it into the world community and to see Africa worldwide, Africa in Brazil, Africa in the Caribbean, mm -hmm. Africa at home here in America, Africa uh, in the, um, on the continent itself. Mm -hmm. And we've been able to organize instruments of taking the African world studies um, and making them work for us. For example, we formed in 1969 the African uh, Heritage Studies Association. Mm -hmm. That allowed us to look at Africa. And then we also formed a later organization, such as the Association for the Study of Classical African Civilization, mm -hmm. which is the reason why we're here mm -hmm. in Nashville for this uh, uh, coming together of the African world family. Very good. And of course, uh, Dr. Thompson, what about uh, your background and some of your experiences? Uh, I'm a product of Chicago mm -hmm. by way of Columbus, Mississippi. <laughs> Mm -hmm. on my mother's side in Holly Springs, Mississippi on my father's side. Mm -hmm. And uh, I started in public school systems of the city of Chicago as a classroom teacher, finally an administrator in a high school. And from that time on up, let us say 1966, I started working at Northeastern Illinois University, mm -hmm. Center for Inner City Studies. Mm -hmm. And uh, we sort of stumbled into studying about Africa. Mm -hmm. Uh, it was during the time there was great African consciousness. Many of the countries overseas were fighting for their independence, and we participated in that program. Mm -hmm. As a result, uh, we started a kind of an African-Caribbean studies program at Northeastern mm -hmm. in the city of Chicago. Mm -hmm. We started traveling to Africa in 1974 to the Sixth Pan-African Conference, which took place during that time. And from that point on, we started going to Africa practically every year. Um, out of this uh, developed many associations and organizations, 
It altered the kind of curriculum we were teaching uh, at the university. And then finally, out of nowhere, came this very important event that took place in Los Angeles in 1984, mm -hmm. which was the beginning of uh, the Association for the Study of Classical African Civilization. Mm -hmm. uh, since that time, we've all been going back and forth to Egypt, which we, we don't mm -hmm. use the term Egypt. We give it its proper name, Kemet, mm -hmm. which is another name, and perhaps we'll discuss that a bit more. Very good. Uh, in addition to going mm -hmm. to Africa, we've also been going to Brazil, Very to good. other places as well, wherever we find African mm -hmm. people. Very good. And I'll tell you, we're getting ready for our first uh, commercial break, uh, Dr. Doctors Jeffries and mm -hmm. uh, Thompson. And when we come back, we'll have an opportunity to uh, talk about the organization that you represent today and how that fits into uh, Africa. There's so much that the two of you, I'm sure, can tell us about Africa. And so we want, to just, want to, you to just take that opportunity to inform our, our, our audience this morning about Africa. And of course, we'll be back with our audience uh, following this very, very short uh, commercial break. The, uh, the, uh,